Sometimes it's really important to track things in your life, like your health. In this video, I show you how you can track important things by connecting an appointment in your Apple Calendar to a, a note in Apple Notes. It's easy to do and a tip you'll wish you'd been using all along. This is a powerful video, a short video, but definitely worth a look. Hi, my name is Rich, and I'm not sure why I've not made a video on this sooner, but today's tutorial on how to connect a note in Apple Notes to a calendar event in Apple Calendar is probably one of the most useful and important videos I've made. I've produced a number of videos on how to use Apple's Calendar and Notes app, but I've never shown you how you can connect the two. And there are all kinds of reasons why you might want to do this. For me, it's all about connecting health appointments in the Calendar app to Notes in the Notes app. My ability to go back and look at all my doctor visits and then read detailed notes about those appointments, that's worth its weight in gold. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, before we jump in, I know that normally my videos are very simple and straightforward. I just want you to know I'm going to do my best to keep this one simple too. It's really not that hard. Today I'm going to show you my health calendar and I'll show you how to create one if you don't have one. My health folder in notes and then the meat of this how to create an appointment in the health calendar and link it back to a health note in Apple Notes. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to begin this tutorial by opening up the calendar app. That's where everything begins. So we're going to open that up. Now I've got a health calendar in here and I just created it. You can have as many calendars as you want. If you tap on the little calendar icon, you can see the list of calendars here and I've got one called Health. If you want to add a calendar, you can. You just simply tap on Add Calendar, tap on Add Calendar again, and then give it a name. We'll call this Auto Repairs. Maybe you want to keep track of your auto repair appointments. And that's how you simply add a calendar. But for today, we're going to look at my health calendar. So here you can filter out calendars too. I don't want to look at all the appointments that I have for everything else. So we're just going to uncheck my other calendars. And then I'm going to hide that out. And then I'm going to tap on the little list icon right there. And this will show you some of the medical events I've had for this year. Now, of course, these aren't real medical events, but I just put a few in here so you'd understand what I'm talking about. So I've got them filtered out over here. And here, if you tap on this one, it's my annual physical. It goes to that appointment. If I tap on my dental visit, it goes to that appointment. And if I tap back on this, and if you'll notice, I've got something under the URL link. It's a whole bunch of scribbly text and gibberish right there, but that's the link. That's the link that you use to get back to your Apple Notes. So if I just simply tap on that, it'll open up the Apple Note associated with that medical appointment. And here you can keep track of anything you want to about that appointment. In this case, you know, blood work, stress test, medications review, typical things that you'd have done at an annual physical. So that's how you do that. Now, we'll go back to the calendar. And I've got one on here for a dental visit also. But you'll notice it's not, there's no link in this one. So this is where, uh, this is how we connect the two. And this takes a little bit of work, and you wouldn't want to do this with every appointment you have in your calendar. Just those things that are important enough to you that you'd want to keep track of. So, if I go back over to my calendar, or to my notes app, I'll go back into areas and my health folder right there. And you'll see I have dental cleaning right there. So you actually have to not only create the appointment in Apple Calendar, you've got to create a corresponding note in Apple Notes. And I happen to put the date as the, at the top so I know roughly you know, how to sort these things and that kind of thing. And you might want to do that, but you can use any 
any heading that you want. All right, to connect this note with the calendar note, the first thing you do is you tap on the share sheet button. And by the way, I made a video on how to use the share sheet. I'll include a link in that in the description below. But you click on that, and then you go over to invite with link. And by the way, if you don't see invite with link there, you can go to edit actions and it'll show up here and you can add it by hitting the little green plus and then it'll show up here. So now you can invite with link. And now I'm just going to go into my contacts and find myself. Right there I am. And I'm going to use my email address and I'm going to click share link. And that's it. And then it just disappears. However, when, you, when that happened, it actually copied the link to the clipboard in here. So it's copied it, and now you want to paste it back in the calendar appointment. Let me show you how to do that. So we'll go back to calendar. We'll go back to dental visit, and we're going to go to edit. And we're going to type in, tap in the URL space, and click paste, and then click done. Now we're going to click done again. And now when we tap on that, we've got the link. And now I can just tap on that. And it takes me back to the note for the dental cleaning. So it's just an incredibly handy way to link these two together. And of course, you might have very detailed notes of things that are important to you. Now, when I go into my app, my calendar app, I like to filter this way so that I can just see what's there. And of course, filtering in your calendar is really not that hard. It's like I was just showing you. Simply go in and choose the calendar you want. You know, when you open up your calendar, uh, maybe it looks like this and you've got a whole bunch of different things in here. But you can always just go back in and filter those calendars out and leave only the calendar you want uh, to look at there and then click on the list and now here you go. Those are just your, in this case, just my health appointments. So now I've got, you know, a dental visit and I tap on it. it takes me right back over to, to the um, corresponding note. Now, I'll just show you, we'll just do it from scratch real quick. So we'll go to today and I'm gonna click on We'll just say medical visit, and I'm going to put the time, we'll click it add, and now I've got a medical visit. So that was step one. I created uh, an appointment in the calendar. Now I go back, and maybe you're in all of your notes like this, and you want to create a new note, so just go to your folder in this case I'll go to my health folder and I'll go to me and I'm going to click on a new note and we'll call it and now we've made the note now again we'll go up to the share sheet we'll go over to invite with link we'll go in here and we'll choose myself and we'll click share link now we'll go back to the calendar and we'll click on that visit and we'll go to edit. And we're going to tap and hold. Do paste. Click down there. Click down here. And now we've got a medical visit over here we can tap on. And it takes us back to the note. So I know that's a, a few steps there to do that, and I know that's not very uh, intuitive to do, but boy, it sure is helpful. And that is how you connect an Apple Calendar event to an Apple Note. So I know these steps are not as intuitive as they should be. Apple could make this a lot easier, but for now, this is the way to connect a calendar event with an Apple Note. And however much friction there is in going through these steps, it more than pays dividends down the road, at least for me. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.